Hi. Hi, Kevin. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. What is going on with the <laughs> microphone? You tapping it? Oh, you turned up the... Okay. Yeah, stop turning up the volume. It's clicking. So okay. What do you got for me? So, I am 44. Congratulations. <laughs> I know you're gonna say it's the danger zone. No, baby, you had a, uh, you left the danger zone nine years ago. <laughs> you were in no man's land. <laughs> That's so not true, Kevin. Okay, then why are you here? Cause you have a man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kevin, no man's land. Meaning, what does no man's land mean between thirty six and sixty? Where all the men are in relationships, or are they on the way out the door? There are there more men after thirty six or before? Thank you. But you know, there's an exception. <laughs> there's always an exception, but that, is that how we want to live our lives? What's your question? So my question is, why why is it that you feel that there's no, there's no hope for us at 44, no kids. Are you married? Were you ever married? I was married. Any children? No children. How long were you married? I was married for nine years. Okay. And you guys chose not to have any kids or what? No, we tried. Okay. Leave it there. And y'all <laughs> got divorced. Why? Because of the massive trying and not happening and I went down a slippery slope. I went through a depression. And okay. So who filed? I filed. On grounds of what? I felt I wasn't worthy. You felt you were not worthy? How long ago was your divorce? About 10 years ago. All right. So you're 44. That was 19 years of your life. You got married at 25. <laughs> All right, and you haven't had a relationship in 10 years? I did, I was engaged after. And why, and why didn't that proceed to marriage? Because he enjoys having like a side woman. But again, I, you know, back then I just felt like, you know, it has to be perfect and- Well, that's okay. So you answered your own question. Why do I feel there's no hope? Because how many chances at bat do you ladies think you're going to get in life? Correct. You've been married. That's more than that's more than 75% of other black women can ever say. Mm -hmm. And you break that. Then you mess around and give another fiance. And it's not perfect. So you leave that. But then I left that so that I can work on me. That's the excuse you get. Okay. That's the Oprah excuse. I don't buy that shit. Well, let me let, let me, me explain why I don't. But you you ask me. Let me tell you why. Because why you could have worked on yourself in the context of a relationship. See, you black women have this all or none. You act like you can't do multiple things at one time. All right, you're right. And then you ask, why do I feel like there's no hope? Well, if you spend most of your time breaking up in relationships and not working out stuff, you got more history than that, and especially at 44. Uh, and that pattern's pretty well set. But so it's not that there's no hope, it's just that uh, it becomes infinitesimal. But you did say that women and men should come correct, get your shit together before you come into a relationship with someone else. So if you know that there's challenges that you're dealing with while you're single, not in a relationship, but while you're single. Yeah, get but, 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 but I, I guess, true. However, 40, you said you had a nine year marriage that you that you divorced from and you had a relationship that you left cause he was cheating. Yeah. And you never cheated? I have. Exactly. And how long ago that, did that end? About maybe seven years ago. And what have you been doing since then? Well, that's when I started working on myself. Because well, but see, that's the, that's what I don't understand. Seven years, man, not 37 or 44. Jesus <laughs> Christ, how long are y'all supposed to French toast work? 
That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, I'm gonna work on myself. Uh, that's another way to say I'm going to just sit here and give it to God. No, we've allowed y'all to do this. And no. But, but I'm saying it's correct, but it took me that time to realize it. And you know. Okay. Well, here's the unfortunate part. Um, the men, women your age tend to want are you what the men you want want? I believe so. Okay. Uh, children are off the table. Um, what do you need? What do you need from a man financially? For him to hold it down. What does that mean? So what that means is, you know, as a woman, and put I put a dollar I, value on it. Don't 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 give me the yearbook answer. Um, at least at least a minimum of six figures. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. I, I, I laugh, man, because I'm trying to keep it light. But the next question I'm going to ask was, how tall are you? I'm 5'2". That's size. It's small. What is that? He said, what is that? Yeah. I, that's size two. Okay. But even if you're 44 and a dress size two, a man who's making, who is at least your age or older, earning $100,000, what do you think he wants from a woman? Well, Children. Of course. And barring that, and barring that, if he's not going to get, uh, get a woman his children, he's going to get a woman with, uh, let's just put it this way, less damage. Mm -hmm. Do you care if he's black or not? I do care if he's black. So what percentage of black men earns eight, uh, six figures a month? It's a, it's a small percentage. What percentage is that? About five, ten percent. Right. And you got to ask a very hardcore question. You are nine out of 10 men are not good enough for you. What in the blue blazes are you bringing to the table to make you the better choice out of all of those women that want that 10% of men? Well, the fact that I know what it takes now, more now than before about holding the man down in reference to being a woman. Mm -hmm. um, now you want to compete against a 27 year old who knows all that from the rip. That's it, they know all that. A lot of the 27 years old don't. Yeah, but to get, see, you just see what you, what older women tend to do. You tend to paint yourself the best case scenario that younger women are like I was and they're not. I just got back off a date with a woman in her 20s and I'm going to tell you. They are not like women in their 40s. I don't date women in your age range and I'll tell you why. Because it's just more problematic. You got more it? things that have happened. Life has happened. Mm -hmm. And this may be hard to hear, but there's really nothing new with an older woman. You've likely already own your own home. You have your own car. You've been here, you've been there. It's all standard and no, it's all standard and no asset. What you have yet to say is what women like yourself at your age are bringing better than younger women. And you have to be able to articulate that if you expect somebody to buy it. That's why I laugh because I've seen this so many times that when I ask a woman, I'm like, well, I just know how to hold a man down. Okay, well, tell me what that means. It's not yet, but I wanted to let you finish. I didn't want to talk over you. But it's not it's not holding it down. is be able to be his partner in a sense as far as men really want a woman that knows how to communicate, compromise, be able to know how to cook, clean, have fun, travel, be a partner, be his be his be his supporter. It's not a, it's not just about um, 
just to be there, just to be his friend. It's more than that. Okay. And How many men do you know earn the kind of money you're talking about? I know quite a few because of my environment. All right. Most men don't are not looking for a woman to be a partner. They're looking for a help me. They're not looking for somebody to travel with. Man, what you described is what many women are looking for. All, the men that I know have always known this area. Don't say the things you said. Mm -hmm. They're looking for fit, feminine, friendly. He has cooperative, submissive, you know, uh, feminine skills, those kind of things. But they're also looking for somebody who, for, for, for lack of a better word, is teachable. It's trainable. A woman is going to have to be tailored to you. And at 44, there's not much tailoring. It's, I know how to do this. Not true. Hmm? Even to this day, I'm always going to learn. All right. Well, if that's the case, then we should see worldwide men in the top 10% of earnings choosing to marry women in their latter years versus their earlier years. Is that what we see? Not real, not, not a lot of it. What does that tell you? It don't exist. I don't know why you guys keep going back to that it doesn't exist. See, what you have yet to do is say, that $100,000 is ridiculous. You effectively I mean, I mean, no disrespect, man, but I don't understand how you ladies come through here and automatically think you have what it takes to remove 90% of men. What do you bring to the table that's so special where you can automatically demand the top 10% of men? Well, because I don't know. basically you're looking at the other 90% of men and say, you're not good enough off the rip just because of your money. So I accept that. Yes, I accept that. And I'm just as harsh with women. If women are gonna come in and say he needs to make like six figures, I'm gonna say I accept that. Then you're gonna have to tell me what the French toast you're doing to, to negate 90% of men, because you're telling them that they're not good enough. So it's about time the women are up to here. Hmm? That's not true. I never said that they weren't good enough. You just said what I would like. Yes. That's okay, I'm not trying to play semantics, man. I said, what? What did, you said? He needs to rank at least six figures. Yeah. If he's not oh. making at least six figures, he's not what you want. Oh, didn't say that. I didn't say if he's not. All right, I'm, I'm expecting I'm talking to a grown up at 44. I'm not playing word games. You act what I want, but however, I am I am flexible. You have to be flexible and be able to compromise. You could. You always. You always want to score. You know, score high. However, you could meet somewhere down in the middle if you don't get it. We're not always going to get everything we want. We can ask for it, but it's not that we're always going to get exactly what we want. Tell that shit to somebody who believes it. You can't. I, I believe what you said up the rip because you had the better part of five minutes to to say that. Now you're backpedaling. At no point in the last five minutes have you made this, well, I'm flexible. Why are you flexible now? Please don't get in the comment section. I'm not there. No, oh, I, I, I looked up. So you ask me why I say, and ma'am, if you go back and look at this conversation, mm -hmm. if you can objectively go back and look at it, it's because you are presenting as a 44-year-old woman with 44-year old old experience and and uh requirements and expectations and com and ways to converse and to talk younger women typically don't do this um verbal judo that a lot of old women like to do because they still have hope this is like, I'm still young, hot, this and that. For, I can just tell you what it is. Older women tend to be like, well, you know. And, and guys aren't trying to play games. They're just trying to understand what it is. I'm making no judgments about that you want somebody making six figures because I do believe that's what you want. 
Because are you making that kind of money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, then human nature tells me that that's what you want. Women are hypergamous by nature. Want a man to have at least what you have. Well, unfortunately, only 8% of black men earn what you earn. That's married, unmarried, gay, straight, whatever. And they don't want what you're saying. And there still is the question is, there is little to no hope for women who are 44 years old wanting a black man in the top 8% of black men. Because honestly, your competition is too stiff with just black women. That doesn't even include the other women. So my question is, why is a man making fifty thousand dollars not enough? Not that he's not enough. Well, we can play that game. I've I've, I've dated that they were making fifty thousand. Okay, but why is he? Why is why is that? Why is the bar not fifty? And I like to set my set my standards high, and if yeah, I don't get maybe, it, okay, man. But do do you like to set your standard high? Are you up there? On well, sexual marketplace value, are you up there? On the sexual market marketplace value, yeah. You, so your standard is high. So you like to set your asking price high. Okay, then is your value on the same market? Is it high? I mean, I don't think it's that high. You don't think it's... So I want to be clear. You're saying your asking price is higher than what you think your value is. Yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think what I'm asking for is a lot. I mean, I oh, think so what I'm asking you is whatever you feel like you're asking for, is it higher than what you're... Is who you are higher than what you're asking for? Or is it lower? Yeah. Who you are who is I, higher. Who I am and what I'm asking for. Yeah. Who you are. Who you are. Your sexual marketplace value is so higher than. You say sexual market marketplace value as far as who I am. Sexual marketplace value is simply this, ma'am. You have a you have a number on your head like the rest of us. You mm -hmm. are a zero to ten in looks. You're a zero to ten in figure. You're a zero to ten in agreeableness, femininity, cooperative. It all comes out to a number. From zero to ten, you're there. And eights, nines, and tens can get the higher can can as what men who tend to be in the top ten percent typically shoot for. Mm -hmm. See, you ladies don't tend to analyze yourself correctly. So you say a hundred thousand dollars is not that much okay but what you're telling me is that's kind of low compared to what you bring to the table no, I mean, it's a it's, fair deal no it's at that it's, i would say my value it's i'm i'm marketing based on my value as okay. well and, how, and what is your value based upon based on what i bring to the table that's as a it. person okay which is my my personality uh -huh and um the, my feminine side as well mm -hmm. and with age i'm still willing to learn mm -hmm. i'm learning today okay. um i don't believe just because a man comes in and wants to teach me something new that oh i got it i actually will let him be the man mm -hmm. you know oh uh, that takes a lot for somebody my age because most of the time for us we're stuck in our in our ways but i'm not mm -hmm. Is any of that what men value? Sorry? Is any of that stuff you just said what men value? Based on conversations I've had with some of the men, yeah. But based on what I'm hearing on your show, you're saying no. Right, because it's not. Men value your femininity, your youth, your fertility, the cooperativeness, and your submission. So I, I've asked this question from women. As a business person, what product on the market increases in value with age and use? Nothing. Well, this is what you ladies continue to do because you are getting older and because you feel like your experience or who you are is trumps a younger woman that it should increase your value.
but it doesn't. It's mm -hmm. your age. It's lower than it was. Your value is less than it was 10 years ago, which is less than it was 10 years before that. But you're asking for earnings and a man that women in their 20s at the peak of their sexual marketplace value. This is what I think a lot of you ladies don't seem to either want to accept or understand. Mm -hmm. Your sexual, your value to a man is not your income, your education, or your experience. Yeah, that I already know. All right. So when I say, why does he need to make six figures? It's, why is $50,000 not enough? Because, man, what you bring to the table, what you told me, quite honestly, it seems to be rather average. You're not bringing anything extraordinary. You're not bringing anything below. You're bringing pretty much average what a woman can bring to the table. I haven't heard it. I mean, unless I'm missing something. Is there something that you have that you feel like you're bringing that's extraordinary or above average? That's not, edu that's not education or income. My personality. Asset base, huh? My personality. Your personality. My personality. My mindset. I'm very open-minded. My communication. I think you, I think you understand that um, there's, no, think there's no way for somebody to really quantify a personality without deciding to pick you. An open-minded man Quite honestly, you may be open-minded for who you used to be, but there are women who are from who are raised to be a companion to a man who are far more open-minded. So what I'm saying is the things you're saying are still pretty average. So, and how we got here is why do you say that there's no hope? Well, there's no hope for women. I don't say there's no hope, but it's extremely small for women who are demanding such a high price. And they bring so little to the market that the men who have that, who can pay that price more. And the net, net of it is men are not going, men who have options are going to get the best deal they can. And I agree. Right. But I I still have an, my, my own opinion where I feel like for myself, I, I don't feel like there's no hope. You know, I don't feel like there's no hope. I say there's no hope, but my, I mean, sure, but how much is enough? How much, but what percent out of 100%, how much hope is enough for you? No, fair question. You keep saying there's hope. So how much hope is enough for you? It's not your question. It's just, it's just, I'm just saying what it is. I, I, I but you haven't told me, but what I'm trying to understand is you said there's hope. I'm saying, okay, but out of a hundred percent, how much hope is enough for you? Oh, oh. Probably a small, probably a small percentage, but it doesn't mean it's at a zero. <laughs> well, what is it though? It's not at zero. Then what is it? Maybe at twenty percent, you know, because of the age bracket and where I'm at. Okay, yeah. so twenty percent, pretty liberal, but twenty percent. So you are, so you're willing to risk dying alone? No, I'm not. Listen, I didn't finish the question. I'm you're sorry. willing to risk a twenty percent hope that you can get this six-figure man versus getting lowering it down to where you got about a better than 80 percent shot of getting a man no but i didn't say that i that i that if i don't get the hundred that there's no way i'm gonna go back i would go i would decrease i never said i wouldn't well i asked you about the fifty thousand dollar year guy and you said that no well, because I had it, and he wasn't even able to sustain. Well, the point is, ma'am. See, what, you, what you're missing is that you, you. We can play back and forth, ma'am. But I asked you about the fifty thousand dollars year guy, which is the median income for men in this country. 
Most men make that. Most of the men you run across are going to make that. Mm -hmm. Most, but not, not all. Uh, well, this is why, and so, so to people who are confused and why I say average at best die alone is because women are willing to take a small hope you're saying 20 percent it's nowhere close to being 20 percent it's close to about five okay five percent not i don't even think five i think arguably close to about two because you're talking about eight percent of men <laughs> you're talking about eight percent of men mm -hmm. you eight percent of men period then they have to be in your area what state are you in? new york they have to be in your area they have to be in your age range they have to be unmarried and heterosexual that is an extremely small group of men. If I actually told you how many, the physical number of men, black men have earned six figures or more, it is less, let's just do it real quick. Let's do it real quick. Let's go, let's do a rough number. There are 40 million black people in this country, right? Half for men, half for women. So it's roughly 20 million black men. 20 million black men, multiply that times 0.8. That's just 0.8, uh -huh. 1.6 million. But we still have to adjust it for age. Let's just say half of the men are marrying age, 18 or above, half. That means 800,000. 800,000 black men of marrying age that earn $100,000 or more, 800,000 and they are spread out across the United States. That's not adjusted for marital status, sexual orientation. So if you take half of the net, you take a half of that number and you take half of that number. We did this number before. You want to know what it came out to be? I'll tell you what the number came out to be when we crunched it about a year and a half ago. That's what the number came out to be. 181,000 black men earned six mm -hmm. figures or more of marrying age, heterosexual, 181,000 and 20 million. And if you say 20 million black women, half marrying age, 10 million, and you say one in four will marry. So you say 75%, 7.4, 7 7.4 million, 7.5 million women looking for 181,000 black men. Now you want to tell me 20%? Let's do it. Let's divide it by seven and a half million. 0.024%. Not 20. <laughs> That's very low. Even if you multiply it times 100. Even if you say that number is off, Kevin, your math is off. Multiply that number times 100. Still 2.4%. I don't just get up here and talk shit. I don't just get out here and pull numbers out of them. I don't just make up stuff. No, that's why I respect you. So respect my you. point is, you're you're saying there's a hope. There's a hope. Is there really a hope with that small of a number? No, I'm, I wasn't saying a hope for that amount. Just saying hope in general for women like myself. Yeah, if, if you started having realistic expectations. Mm -hmm. But you haven't seemed to have any realistic expectations on this call. It's all, it's been more towards, well, it's hopeful, right? You know what, I think I'm gonna do that as a breakdown on YouTube. I'm gonna actually just throw a number up there so women can get their mind around how many men this really is. So y'all can all realize, oh, by the way, that that, that percentage of men, 181,000, 7.5 million black women are looking for them. Also a percentage of every other race of women too. Yeah. So, would it make more sense to lower something as arbitrary as money down, with, especially as you guys get older? But I will tell you that if you were on Instagram Tuesday, one, two, three, four black women, that was a woman on there was 41 years old, $200,000 earnings. She was saying the same stuff you're saying. There was, on that same stream, one, two, three, one woman said she wanted a guy making 500, four, three women. It's like I I've been doing this show since May and from 18 to 70, from GED 
to PhD. You're all looking for the same 185,000 people. Uh -huh. Now, honestly, did you ever really think that the number of men that were making that much money was that small? No. No. And that's, and that's what people keep selling you hope. Buy this book. Don't forget this. Don't think like a man, act like this. Come to this <laughs> seminar. Buy this course. That's what they're, they're selling you hope. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, and, and, but they don't have, but what you think, What you, one thing you notice, you go to all those conferences, all those book signings, and it's a bunch of hope filled women mm -hmm. and no men. Yeah. I get 15,000 people, and that's 80% men. And the men are sitting there, thank you. Thank you for sitting in something. So, y'all ladies know I'm not just talking for myself. So, no, 44, you don't seem to have a horrible attitude because a lot of sisters would have been, mm, 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 mm. but it's that, <laughs> it's, that, it's that math number. It's the income that's going to kill it, man. If you got to have a man that's earning uh, 100,000, hell, if you got to have a man that's earning 75,000, that's still, I mean, 80,000, that's still only 15% of men. Mm -hmm. That just effectively doubles that number to 0.04%. You gotta drop it down to, I mean, honestly, at 44 years old, it would be more, make more sense to find somebody who just to finish out life with. Somebody who I trust, respect. He gonna go out and get my insulin. I'm gonna put his teeth in. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna go that old. <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm talking about you gonna grow that old too. I'm saying you're gonna do for him, he's gonna do for you. My mother got married and she didn't, anyway, my mother smartened up. And women, mm -hmm. unlike my mother, they died alone. She picked the most unlikely guy that I could think of because she smartened up. Mm -hmm. And my mother was a very attractive woman and had options. So, I mean, I hope this has been helpful to let you know that I just don't say that there's no hope for no reason. I say the hope is very, very small. I don't know how much hope 0 0.024 is, but when you think it's 20 and it comes out as 0 0.024, to me, that's zero. Yeah. So, all right. Appreciate it, man. Thank Bye -bye. you. All right. Let me, let me, let me do some math real quick. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, so let's let's take zero point. Let's take uh, zero point two four. Zero point two four, and let's just multiply it times one. That if if, if you try to convert that to money, there is no unit of there is no unit of coinage that's point zero two four. That's, that's not even a penny. That's 25% of one penny. No, no, point zero. Nope, point zero. It's point zero one two four. You're looking at it after I multiply it times 100 to say it's 2%. It's, it's uh, two tenths of a percent. It's two tenths of a percent, not two percent. One hundred eighty-one thousand divided by seven point five million.